Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this Java GUI tutorial series, we are going to learn about Jcumber box in Java NetBeans. So for this purpose, we will create a new project by clicking on this file, new project. And here I will select this Java application and click next. And now I will give the application name as J combo box demo. Now I'll click create. I will uncheck this so that it will not it uh, will not create a main class in this uh, project. And I will click finish to create the project. Now you can see that this uh, J combo box demo project is created and this is the source package in which we have this default package and we have nothing inside this uh, uh, default package so we will create a J frame inside this so I'll click on this uh, default package and click new J frame form and now I will call this combo and now I will click finish if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel and also like and comment my videos. Now we'll extend this uh, J frame. And now I will come to this platelets and I will drag a combo box to this J frame. Now if I run this uh, application, You will see a combo box on this uh, J frame. Now you can see that we have this combo box and we have this item 1, item 2, 3 and 4 in it. Now I'll close it down, close it down as well. Now I'll come to this designer, uh, click on this combo box and uh, go to properties and now I will search here for model. Now here I have this model and it and we have this item 1, item 2 and item 3 inside this. I can open this and I can remove all of these items and I can add my own items in it. So I will uh, add 1, 2, 3, 4, and five now I'll click OK and now if I run this uh, J frame now you can see that one two three four five is uh, added into this uh, J combo box so in this way you can add uh, items into this uh, J combo box from designer properties now I do not use it like this so I will click on this and uh, I will go to right click on this and go to properties now I will remove all of these and click close and now if you see we do not have any item in this uh, J combo box now I will go to source and here I will search for init and now here I can add some uh, items into this J combo box if I write J combo and click control space it will show me J combo box one dot add item and I can add item here as string 1 and now I'll copy this and now I will paste it a few times and I will change 
the text to three and four now if I run this you will see one two three and four in this J combo box you can see it here now this is not the right method now we will create a model class for this J combo box and we will use IDs and names in that model class and that model class will be then uh, added into this uh, J combo box with the help of an array list now I'll create a new class here new Java class and I will call this um, employee and I will click finish now here I have uh, two variables in this one is uh, employee number so which is the int so I will say e number and now the other one is string e name semicolon now I will generate setter and getter for this so I will go to source and now I will go to insert code and now I will click on getter and setters and now I will click this and click generate so it automatically creates the setters and getters for this um, uh, for these two variables now I will create a two string method that will convert this uh, employee ID and name to string and now it will return mm, e id plus space e name semicolon and here i will also use a plus and it is not EID it will be EID EID is giving error actually it is not EID it is E number now it is working now I will come to this uh, control asset and now I will come to this combo dot java I will comment this or backspace this now here I will create two uh, um, arrays one is string p names it is of type string and I will add a few names Ali, comma, Khan, comma, uh, Asad, comma, um, Adil, and now I will add the same number of IDs, implies IDs, so int p number is equal to consider 23 comma 24 comma 25 comma 26 these are the IDs of the employees now I will create an array list of e 
emp list is equal to new uh, array list and now I'll just put semicolon here now I will use a for loop for and i is equal to 0 semicolon i is less than emp name uh, uh, dot len semicolon i plus plus and now I will put braces and here I will create imply class object imply emp is equal to new emp employee semicolon and now emp dot set uh, employee number and I will get it from emp number i and emp dot set employee name dot set um, e name and it will be uh, emp name i and now i will add it into this uh, array list emp uh, list dot add dot add emp semicolon now it is showing an error this init component so I uh, we are missing a color brace here so I'll put it here and now there it is gone now we will add this uh, uh, array list into uh, our j combo box j combo was one dot set default not default set model control space and it will new default space default combo box model we will remove these two and we will use small brackets and here I will pass mp list dot and we will convert it to array to array now if I run this now you can see that we have uh, the IDs as well as and uh, the numbers as well as the name of the employees in this combo box so how can I get this uh, number only from this combo box so we will add a click event on this uh, combo box so I will go to combo.java and now I'll go to design and I will double click on this uh, combo box and it will create the click event now if I click arrow up down it will take me to the combo box event now here we are now we will remove these comments and I will create uh, e employee class object employee emp is equal to I will cost this j combo box box one dot get selected item semicolon and now I will get the ID from this uh, uh, employee object 
so I will use J option pen J option pen dot show message dialog and now I will use employee dot get get number and now if I run this and now if I click on this 25 and Asad you can see that 25 is uh, uh, get from this combo box item and now if I click on this 26 you can see 26 is, is get from the combo box item now I will close this close this as well now I can also get the name so I will use employee dot get name ename and now if I run this and now if I click on a name you can see only the name is shown so that's all for today I hope you like the video so if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel as well as like and comment uh, I need your love and support thank you